But somebody else that has a lot of controversy too, I want to talk about Johnny Depp for a second because Johnny Depp is back in the news producing now. Now, of course, we had the Amber Heard thing. We had that back and forth. We talked about that multiple times. And then he's been playing, just playing band news or playing music. He's in a band playing rock and roll across the country. But now he's going to get back into producing and producing a film, which he might star in. They haven't said yet, but The Ninth Gate. Now, he did this back in the 90s. So if you saw this movie back in the 90s, 1999, you know what I'm talking about. But it is the strangest freaking movie out there, everybody. I mean, I had to rewatch it again recently when I heard this, and it's just odd it's just i mean johnny depp's playing a rare book dealer authenticating a cursed book and he's going around they give him us one book that's like written by the devil but there's two more out there one's only the real one and he's going around trying to figure out which one's the real one at the end it's like frank uh what's that frank Langlozano? how do you say it? like yeah he, he's like apparently this devil worshiper guy who gets <laughs> like with Amo. Yeah, I was, I was way off, way off. <laughs> Give me a minute to digest that. That I'm was like, great. I'm like, that's not right. That's not, that's not right at all. But, but apparently Johnny Depp's going to come in to um, produce this because he started before and Roman Polanski actually directed the original one, which is very interesting. I do not think he'll be attached to but Sabrina, you've seen this before too. What do you think about if you're gonna redo something, what do you think about redoing this movie? Do you think this is a good call for Johnny Depp to dive into? Uh I mean if they could just do it much, 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 much better because <laughs> it was a lot. I mean, I feel like it has potential. It's just you not not no. It was also like they didn't have good like CGI, like the burning stuff was all fake and fight just all it just looked like shit. You know, like the storyline. Oh, there is, but hey, what's going on? That's exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. Um, I just feel like uh, you, I mean, I don't know. I, I personally could do without ever seeing this movie again. I saw it twice and that was enough. Um, however, you know, with the technology that they have now, maybe they'll make it spectacular. Maybe they'll, you know, tighten up some of the holes in the story or, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I, I love him. He's a spectacular actor. I think he did a great job with what he was given. I mean, again, Frankly, oh, fucking amazing He's actor so good. too. Nixon he played um, and like, you know, yes, Richard was saying, so many Skeletor, things. fuck and yeah, Dracula. Skeletor. Like, I, you know, I mean, it, Roman Polanski, you know, it, it is what it is with that guy. But let's be clear, he has been directing films the entire time. Just he's just not allowed to come to the United States, so it's like not a shock that he did. He was he directed a shit ton of movies. This is like one of many. So since that happened, um, so I mean, I'm not really worried about that aspect of it. Like some people are trying to make a comparison because of the Amber Heard trial and like that. You know, he the cancel culture and like comparing it to Polanski. I think that that has nothing to do with anything, and that it's you know people grasping at straws. Um, so yeah, I just think uh, I I think that it's maybe uh, I mean I don't know it's it could be good I love Johnny Depp I, I guess I'd be interested to see his take on it in a different way like when he is more in charge of decision making as opposed to just acting so I'll, I'll probably give it a shot Were you dating someone who made you watch it right yeah yeah of course, of course yeah. I was yep like yep. all the movies I don't want to watch <laughs> <laughs> but I mean hopefully if he does come back to it he maybe just continues it on maybe he one hundred percent is he's not allowed back in the United States yeah. but he has been actively directing films in Europe for years yeah. Wild, that guy's still, still working. He's still working, not retiring anytime soon. Ron, have you ever seen The Ninth Gate? Have you ever seen this movie? And do you think this is a good way for Johnny Depp to go into producing now after being away from acting for so long after all of his controversy? He, his roles are all controversy uh, or controversial. I, I, per, I think he should actually just step away for a bit. Just, you know, live a life for like a year, do something, and then uh, come back to something, hit it hard with something really great. Maybe not a remake. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I don't know if you've seen this one, but like this movie, like like this gif right here, like there's this weird scene where they're just having sex and fire. I don't know why it happens. No idea. It's the weirdest freaking thing. And it's like he's with the devil, but he's with this girl. It's it's the weirdest movie. And for me, and I, yeah, right. That never happened before. <laughs> Bring back Jack Sparrow. People want Jack Sparrow. Are back. you it's judging true. my Firefox sessions? Like, what? How dare you? That is very, very rude of you. I, to each his own, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think that, you know, he might go back to the Pirates. That's been something they've been going back and forth about. I Maybe love that's, that. If people want him back there, they also have that spinoff with Margot Robbie. They're in development, too, where it'll be like the female version of all the Pirates. So it's like a female-led version of Jack Sparrow. That's apparently still in development. Yeah, they said that they weren't doing that, and now they brought it They brought it back around. But people, I mean, <laughs> Amber Heard will never be the same again, I don't think. Amber Heard's going to go away. No, Johnny Depp will be fine. I she stays in Madrid or the fuck she is I'm, for the rest of her life. I'm sick of, I'm sick of hearing about it. She's got another movie coming out too but you know i think that we need to just you know just she just needs to be done i don't know what it is but peppy what do you think about this whole thing i've had enough of this 
Okay. Can we move on to the <laughs> next subject, please. And you know what, guys? Guys, leave Johnny Depp and Amber Heard alone because they're minding their business now and they're trying to get it together. Come that's on. It. Come that's on, not, guys. Come on. Let's just make movies and make people laugh. We need to laugh right now. Love um, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that is not the opinion of Cruise Control. Leave Johnny Depp alone. <laughs> Fuck Amber Heard. That is the opinion of Cruise Control. Okay? <laughs> Peppy, I love you, bud. Peppy's his own man. Peppy's his own man. You know, he he does his (laughs) own thing. You know, so that's what he thinks. But yeah, I just think that, like Ron was saying, maybe he just needs to step away for a while. Yeah, Mara, she's going to be Mara still. She's still going to be in the... Uh, I hear they pared her part down to like 10 minutes or yeah, something. Yeah, so, you know, and that happens. Like, it's not good for business. We talked about the other day. It's like, you're a brand. If you're an actor in a project, you're a brand. And you represent the studio. So when something bad happens, regardless if it's in your control or not, if it's social media, if it's something that you did behind closed doors that gets out there, a lot of times studios just want to separate from you because they don't want to have the, the drama moving forward for the production mm-hmm. it's just it's just how it goes it's very unfortunate for a lot of people but that's that's just how it is